From you wake up every morning, you's a winner, yeah. What's going on guys, it's a girl Razor in the brrrr d d zing. And welcome back to another video. If you're new, hey boo! And if you're returning, what's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, so in today's video, first of all, I've finished my first jar of grease and I just want to talk about it. You know, I want to talk about the benefits or my experience with using grease because I did tell you guys that I wanted to try it out first to see how I liked it or if I didn't like it or not before I come on here and like tell you guys how I really feel about it. So I feel like I've been using it for about five months or maybe six but ever since i introduced it to you guys on my channel so i'm not sure how long ago that is but listen the jar is empty and i saved this just so i can show you guys that i'm not fronting like i actually went through an entire jar of grease blue magic to be exact indian hemp Okay. So I have a couple of benefits or things that I have noticed ever since I've been using grease because because since I've been using the grease I ditched my hair oils. Well, I didn't ditch them. They're still here. I stopped using oils I stopped using well on my hair itself. I stopped using butters and you guys know I love using butters on my hair I stopped using all my curl Enhancing type products moisturizer all I was using for these couple months Well, if I was doing my lens retention hairstyles or my protective hairstyles all i would use is leave-in conditioner and then i would go in with the grease there are videos on my channel but i will post a routine routine video that i've been consistently following for the past couple months because you guys haven't been seeing me on hair for a while one of the reasons it's not the main reason but you guys know i moved back home like a long time now and if you are from the caribbean or if, or if you live in the caribbean you know that hair product are very expensive sometimes not even triple the price that you guys pay in america but sometimes i just said triple sometimes not even double but it will be tripled and some more change you know i don't really buy products like that just because of that as you can see i have a lot of hair hair products are already expensive and for me to spend triple that sis no no i've always wanted to try grease again and one of the reasons that pushed me to it is because it was getting expensive like repurchasing my favorite hair butters because you guys know they were pricey and it's not easily accessible so i would have to order i would have to wait and it's just like sometimes i just want a product right then and there and for a good price that i can continue repurchasing and i know if i actually liked using the grease i would continue to reuse it it will be a staple in my routine which it has been mostly for my twist and my braids depending on where you live you can get grease for like two dollars and change depends but i mean i did buy it on the island so it was about eight dollars and change or almost ten dollars i paid i can't remember so it's still doubled maybe tripled but it's still cost effective for me especially on how fast i run through products because how long my hair is and how long my hair is growing and how thick my hair is so i need a lot of products and it just gets annoying repurchasing products that are really expensive and that finish really quick i just i just i just didn't really want to deal with that anymore so i was like you know what let me try this grease out right so you know cost effective ching ching no how oh, was the sound of coins click 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 no click 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 click, click. <laughs> my hair stays moisturized way longer i'm talking about my hair can stay moisturized for up to a week or more of course you guys know my hair gets frizzy so i would have to not have to but i would want to refresh especially if i have time but even when i refresh my hair is still moisturized the point of the refreshing for me is just to get my roots to not look as frizzy again or to just lay down some of my frizz but my hair is actually still moisturized when i refresh so i don't really have to do much when i refresh 
so moisture for days moisture for weeks and that was my biggest issue especially using like water-based products like the moisture dries out really quickly and when you live or if you live in a very humid and hot environment <sighs> retaining moisture and especially depending on your hair type retaining moisture can be very hard because it dries out so to have a product that seals in that moisture and keeps my hair moisturized for days like that's something that i really appreciate and i love if i'm having a bad week where i don't feel like styling my hair or refreshing or anything like i don't have to worry about my hair being moisturized because the grease will make sure that's happening love grease for that another major thing Thing that I noticed y'all I need to update you guys I'm still doing my hair growth challenge it's just I haven't been talking to you guys about it because I already told you guys what I would have been doing I think it ends in August if I'm not mistaken I might push it to the end of the year ever since I started using grease like y'all you guys want to talk about lent retention especially since i've been really up on my hair routine mostly i've just been wearing twists i've just been wearing braids lately my hair grows fast like i know that but the length that i have retained ever since i implemented grease into my routine yeah my hair is so long right now i really want to take one out and show you guys length retention has been crazy since i've started using grease and that's because you know it keeps my hair moisturized my ends don't dry out as fast granted sometimes i do go in on my ends and just put the grease on my ends sometimes if my ends are looking a little dry but baby the length retention the length retention is crazy and not only in general like in areas that i struggle with retaining length and like you guys know the front of my hair i struggle with the front of my hair and the crown of my hair it's not really an issue anymore like my hair is just growing and to see those areas flourishing 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 i am happy about that and it's all because of grease and of course it's all because i'm using products that actually keep my hair moisturized so i guess moisture was my issue especially in those areas so because of that i've been having a lot less breakage breakage is something that i experience a lot sometimes there are many different factors that can contribute to breakage on my end and you guys know i keep it real like ain't nothing to hide because of my lifestyle i'm very active and all of that i sweat a lot in my scalp like it's just it's just a lot that goes on with me and my hair i used to get a lot of breakage especially when the weather changes especially if i'm like going through a lot so yeah, i'm definitely seeing a lot less breakage so you know with a lot less breakage you retain a lot more length that's a bonus and i appreciate that you know yes 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 one major thing is that my hair is soft not no lower caps soft soft all caps s-o-f-t with an exclamation mark especially when i unravel my braids and like my hair is so soft guys like soft and not mushy soft soft and strong it's hard to explain not hard to explain because i just explained it but it's a different type of soft where i know my hair is good you know i don't know what i'm trying to explain but you know the soft where it's like so soft like it's just it just feels weird but no it's like so soft where it just feels soft strong and moisturized like balanced yes that if you've experienced that before you know what i'm talking about and one more thing i feel like after a while my hair was starting to thin out i mean in general your hair may get thinner the older you get or the longer your hair gets and i was noticing that since i implemented the grease y'all like my hair is thick like real thick especially in certain areas my crown the front of my hair is getting thicker as well like look at my braids of course i keep up with my trims and everything and everything but my hair is so thick that it's noticeable now i usually have my hair wrapped up as you can see in a bun to tuck my ends away so the other day i pulled up one of my braids and someone was like that's your hair and they know my hair is long <laughs> i was like yes 
So they were saying that my hair just looks so thick that they thought it was braids. It, it is braids, but they thought that I had extensions added. I'm not the only one noticing it. People are actually noticing that my hair has gotten a lot more thicker. And my hair is usually on the shiny side, so I don't really want to mention that because I naturally have shiny hair. But products, some products do enhance my shine. And grease is one of them because my hair usually starts to get a little dull after a couple days. Oh, my hair has been like this for like about three going on to four days it's night now so yeah let's say four days and i refreshed my edges but you guys know how this goes like it uh, is already spreading out so it just makes sense to just redo them and i'm probably gonna do that tomorrow if i feel like it as i said the jar is finished so you guys know it's no cap who watch my videos but no it's no cap around here anyway you guys know if i finish a product well let me not say that because sometimes i do finish products because i just want them out of my eyesight because they just don't need to be there <laughs> and i paid my money for it so we're gonna use it up and get rid of it and not buy it again but if i actually go through a product that i like and i actually have another backup <laughs> You guys know what you don't know. Now you know that I actually enjoyed using this said product. And I actually enjoy using grease, especially for my braids, my twists. Like any style where I would call my protective styles or my low maintenance styles or my hair growth hairstyles. Grease is something that I will continue to implement into my routine. I don't care what nobody says, okay. I'm gonna need some of you to do a lot more research. It has a bad rep in the natural hair community, like a lot of things, but you guys know I'm going to do what I want to do, okay? And I'm just going to tell you guys my experience. If you want to try it, you can. I'm not forcing you to try it, you know? You can always do what you want to do, girl. Do what you... You do that. Do what you... But if you want to use it, I'm telling you, I've had an awesome experience. And if you've checked some of my comments from my videos where I actually mentioned using grease, a lot of you seem to be having a great experience as well. You guys kind of motivated me to like keep trying it and you know. Yes, 10 out of 10, not really. There are some little cons I have with it. You guys as well. Some of you are mentioning that you're having a hard time washing grease. Oh, I don't really have a hard time. I guess it just depends on the grease you use, on if it's too heavy for your hair. Because Blue Magic can be quite heavy. If you want a lighter grease, I would suggest using Softy. And I do have a video using the Softy Indian Hemp on my channel. I'll post it in the cards for you guys. I haven't had a hard time washing grease out, but I can do a wash day video for you guys because my wash days have kind of changed. Yeah! All those things will be coming and the update with the hair growth journey as well. More so to tell you guys of a more consistent routine that I've been following. And you guys know I switch it up a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> like sometimes I'll switch from the braid to the twist. Right now I'm loving the braids. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can you let me know some of the benefits that you have seen if you use grease or if you started back using grease or if you want to start using grease, like what are you scared of or like, you know, just tell me your experience down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Bye.